right so here i have a data where i have names and age and i want to count total number of names where age is above 10 and below 25 so normally when we want to do these kind of counts with conditions we can use count if or count ifs but here i'm going to show you how you can use some product function for using these two conditions while counting so first of all i'll enter the sum product function and then with the sum product i will use i and t so i and t function basically helps you to round a number so if there is any fraction or decimal with these numbers it will round it off and you will get a integer so what i'll do i'll select the range and then i will specify a condition here then then i will close now in the second array again i'm going to use int and the same range and now i'm going to specify the condition 25 or below 25 and now the moment i hit enter it returns the count 7 that means there are 7 names where age is above 10 and below 25 so let me verify it with filter so we don't have any age which is below 10 so i'll select starting from 12 and here when I hit enter alright so we have 7 names where age is above 10 and below 25 now let's understand how this formula actually works now with the int when you use int in this condition that is greater than or equal to 10 it returns an array where each value has 1 if that value is above 10 so all the values here in our range are above 10 so that is why we have one for each of the values now in the second int function again we have a condition that says below 25 now here we have only 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 values below 25 and that is why we have 7 1 in this array so in the end some product multiply both of these arrays with each other so from the first array one get multiplies with the one from here so it returns one but whenever a one get multiply with zero it returns zero so in the end you only get one where the value is above 10 or below 25 and that is how you get the count in the end by the sum product